How Ireland Really Went Bust is an incredible drama, an extraordinary story. In many respects, you could say it's almost like an economic and political white-collar thriller, except, unfortunately, the consequences for the Irish people have been terrible, making it something of a tragedy. As a journalist and a broadcaster, and now as an author, I've always felt that my role has been to ask the questions, to assemble the facts, and then to order them, and to present them in such a way as that people can make up their own mind as to why and how various things happened. In How Ireland Really Went Bust, I think I've been able to get to the bottom of an awful lot of the things that went on in this country from September 2008 with such consequences, and then allow you the opportunity, based on the information that I've been able to assemble in order, to make up your own mind as to who was responsible. It's a story of economics and of big business and of the use of power in politics, but ultimately it's a story about people. Not just the people who were affected so badly by the decisions that were made on their behalf, but by the people who had to make those decisions. In How Ireland Really Went Bust, I look very closely at the key personnel, not just the people like Brian Cowan and Brian Lenehan, who of course figure extensively, but other people who may not be as well known to the Irish population, but who were so important to the decisions that were made over the last three years. We know who we hold responsible in Ireland for our woes. We know about the Fianna Fáil-led government. We know what Brian Cowan and Brian Lenehan did. But what I do in How Ireland Really Went Bust is look at the pressures that those men were under. Look at why they made the decisions that they made. Who forced them to make those decisions? What bad decisions they made? What other decisions they could have made? And in particular, I look at the foreign influences who were much more important than perhaps we gave credit to at times during our crisis, particularly in those dark days coming up to November 2010 when we surrendered our economic sovereignty and allowed the International Monetary Fund and the European Central Bank and the European Commission decide our fate. And that's why men like Jean-Claude Trichet and Ollie Wren and A.J. Chopra and Timothy Geithner from the United States government feature so prominently in how Ireland really went bust. As I tell you, the roles that they played in making decisions for the Irish government and ultimately for the Irish people. There's no happy ending and the detail isn't always pretty, but it remains an extraordinary story. The story of how Ireland really went bust.